our solidarity with the people of France as they mourn their loss and come to terms with the brutal terrorist attack. As we see it spread around the world, let us pledge to work together to make sure that it will not succeed against the life that we have all gathered here to build and the values that we stand for. Honorable Prime Minister of Bhutan, Honorable Prime Minister of Macedonia, Secretary of State John Kerry, UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon, World Bank President Jim Yong Kim, Honorable Ministers and dignitaries from over a hundred countries, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the people of India and on my personal behalf, I welcome you all to this summit. In January 2013, while concluding the sixth summit, I had extended an invitation for today's event. Your response has been outstanding. I am glad to be here to welcome you. On this occasion, I express my gratitude to the old partners of this event. Both countries and organizations this include Japan and Canada. Without that support, this event could not have come this far. I also welcome warmly and thank new partners like USA, UK, Netherlands, Australia, Singapore, and South Africa. Secretary General of the United Nations and the President of the World Bank for the presence, it shows their commitment towards progress and prosperity in emerging economies. Your partnership has enhanced the enterprising spirit of 60 million Gujaratis. It had boosted the moral of 1.2 billion Indians. This event is perhaps the biggest gathering on earth where a budding entrepreneurs has the opportunity to see the President of the World Bank and where a young farmer dreaming to set up a food processing unit can listen to the views of UN Secretary General on issues like food security. That is why during one of the previous events, I had called it Davos in Action. Friends, India has always believed that the whole world is one family. Vasudhev Kutum Kam. Few have seen this 
in practice i am informed that more than 100 countries are participating in this event so se adhik desh ek chhat ke niche aaj ikatthe hue hain we are here as a family not only in terms of space but also because we recognize that someone's dream is depend on someone's direction someone's success is related to someone's support someone's curiosity is linked to someone's care this is what a family does the ultimate objective is welfare of all hamare yahan kaha gaya hai loka samast sukhi na bhavtu i'm sure all of us from the secretary general of un to the president of the world bank from the leaders of the strongest economies to the delegations of the small countries from ceos of fortune 500 companies to startup entrepreneurs all want to the planet earth become a better place to live thus our meeting here is not just a meeting of hands but also of hearts it is not only a meeting of ideas but also of aspirations as a host this family gathering as a curator of thousands of dreaming floating here i welcome you all once again i hope your stay here is of course comfortable वैसे भी गुजराती लोग मेहमान नवाजी में जरा अच्छे हो रहते हैं आई ट्रस्ट यू विल एंजॉय अवर हॉस्पिटैलिटी दिस इज अ टाइम ऑफ काइट फेस्टिवल इन गुजरात दिस फेस्टिवल गिव्स अस द मैसेज ऑफ हाई स्पिरिट्स डू पार्टिसिपेट इन इट फ्रेंड्स after becoming prime minister i have traveled the remotest part of the do participate in it friends after becoming prime minister i have traveled the remotest part of the india and also to various parts of the world i have been to the un brics ASEAN summit G20 SARC summit some common worries have been expressed everywhere the biggest concern is about the global economy we all have to find the ways for stability and recovery we also have to work for sustainable and inclusive growth we in india believe that problems present us with opportunities to become stronger disciplined and innovative my government is trying to generate confidence we have prepared a team to secure a robust future we believe that changes start with a change in mindset friends it is a matter of great place that today there is a tremendous interest in india aur mere dekha hai duniya mein jahan gaya jise mila charo taraf 
भारत के प्रति रुचि भारत के प्रति आकर्षण भारत के प्रति गौरव का भाव ये मैं अनुभव कर रहा हूं और मैं मानता हूं कि ये अपने आप में ये एक हमारी बहुत बड़ी ताकत है कंट्रीज आर कमिंग फॉरवर्ड टू वर्क विथ अस दिस हैज ऑफ कोर्स जनरेटेड एक्सपेक्टेशंस फ्रॉम इंडिया इंडिया इज प्रेजेंट एज वेल एज इट्स रीच पास्ट इज बींग रिकग्नाइज आई थैंक द यूएन सेक्रेटरी जनरल फॉर गिविंग ए फॉर्मल इंटरनेशनल स्टेचर टू योगा ए रिकॉर्ड नंबर ऑफ 177 सेवेंटी सेवन कंट्रीज सपोर्टेड द इंडियन प्रपोजल योगा इज बोथ ए साइंस एंड आर्ट फॉर इंप्रूविंग ह्यूमन लाइफ इन टू डेज वर्ल्ड इट टीचीज अस टू रिमेन स्टेबल इवन इन एडवर्स सिचुएशन फ्रेंड्स the 2009 edition of this event created vibrancy when the state of the global economy was depressing the summits of 2011 and 2013 succeeded in strengthening investors confidence it is only because of persistence with positivity that this event of gujarat government has become an, an event for the entire country this platform has been enlarged so that other states too can take advantage today many other states have adopted this approach aur maine pichle dino dekha मध्य प्रदेश हो पश्चिम बंगाल हो सभी देश राज्य अपने अपने तरीके से एक सकारात्मक भूमिका निभाते हुए प्रयास कर रहे हैं द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इज कमिटेड टू सपोर्ट सच इनिशिएटिव बाय एनी स्टेट गवर्नमेंट फ्रेंड्स वी विल हैव टू चेंज द वे वी हैव बीन अप्रोचिंग प्रॉब्लम्स recession is often seen just in the context of business and industry have we ever thought of recession as being the result of low per capita income in countries where a majority of the global population lives have we ever thought of its solution in terms of enhancing the common man's employability income and purchasing power this is the biggest task at hand in india mahatma gandhi rightly talk about the last man wo daridra narayan ki baat karte the and gandhi ji's message can show us the way it is therefore appropriate that this summit is taking place in mahatma mandir an excellent an excellent multimedia exhibition on the life of the mahatma has been set up in dandi kutir it's very very hardly 3 minutes walk it portrays the life journey of gandhi ji in brief in addition just a few steps away from the venue there is a world class mega mega exhibition which showcases products and service by leading companies from india and abroad aur main aap sab se aagrah karunga ki kitni hi vyastata kyon na ho लेकिन इसी कैंपस में दांडी कुटीर में 
मल्टीमीडिया टेक्नोलॉजी का उपयोग करते हुए महात्मा गांधी का जो प्रदर्शनी बनाई है आप उसे जरूर देखिए और पास में ही इतना बड़ा एग्जीबिशन शायद हमारे देश में कभी होता नहीं है एक प्रकार का यूनिक ट्रेड फेयर है मैं चाहूंगा कि आप जरूर उसकी मुलाकात लें आई एम श्योर यू विल नॉट मिस द चांस टू सी दिस मैग्निफिसेंट एग्जीबिशन टू मी द बेस्ट आउटकम ऑफ दिस इवेंट शुड बी इंक्लूसिवनेस एंड इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ कम्युनिटीज नीडिंग केयर एंड डेवलपमेंट दस दिस इवेंट स्टैंड फॉर इंक्लूसिवनेस ऑफ स्मॉल विथ बिग इंक्लूसिवनेस ऑफ पुअर विथ रीच इंक्लूसिवनेस of gut feelings with mature thoughts i assure this global platform that india want to work with the global leadership be the issues of poverty or ecology we want to contribute to welfare of the global community we are aware that with one sixth of the world's population our activities will have a global impact we are ready to learn and make this impact positive however india has to be seen from a different angle it is not just a country of today it is also an old civilization it is not just a country of a few cities it is a country of thousands of towns and several hundred thousands villages it is a country of diverse communities therefore india has its own solution for many pressing problems our philosophy is a philosophy of conservation our culture teaches us nurturing of nature our way of life is that of harnessing such thoughts and practices have excited in india for centuries thus whatever we will do it will be aligned with our culture ethos and beliefs because we know this is what will work in india friends our last national elections mark a turning point in indian democracy they indicated the high aspirations of our people this was amply reflected in the record voter participation and a clear verdict in favor of one political party after a gap of 30 years my government is committed to changing the and improving the economic and social conditions of india including the quality of life in a short span of 7 months we we have been able to change the atmosphere of despair and uncertainty since the first day my government is actively working to revive the economy my government is committed to create a policy environment that is predictable transparent and fair friends we are on the path of transformation to start this process we are making efforts to change the work culture we have to strengthen our institutions and systems of delivery to drive this change forcefully 
we have recently reconstituted our planning commission now it is known as niti ayog we want to promote cooperative federalism we want to promote cooperative federalism in the country at the same time we want a competitive element among the states to create and attract whatever is needed there i call this new form of federalism cooperative and competitive federalism you may be aware that our economic growth and slow down during the last few years now my government is putting an efforts to ensure faster and yet inclusive growth the initial results are encouraging on the economic front during the first two quarters we registered a growth rate which was 1% higher than the previous year the imf has observed that india will be the second fastest growing economy in the coming years according to the latest forecast of oecd india would be the only country among the world's top economies which would increase its pace of growth this year the hsbc's latest report has identified india as the world's largest growing exporter which is set to move from being the 14th to the 5th largest exporter in the world by 2030 on the political front also people of various states have supported us in the recent assembly elections this gives us the confidence that we are moving on the right direction let me tell you a little about what we are doing and where we want to reach friends we are not merely making commitments and announcements we are also backing them up with concrete action at the level of policy and practice from for example i announce a financial inclusion program in 4 months we have opened more than 100 million financial inclusion program in 4 months we have opened more than 100 million bank accounts ek prakar se 100 din mein 10 crore se zyada pradhan mantri jan dhan yojana ke khate khulna सिर्फ घोषणा नहीं उसको साकार करने में सफलता तक पाना और निर्धारित समय में पाना वी आर प्लानिंग टू बिल्ड स्मार्ट सिटीज इक्विप्ड विथ वर्ल्ड क्लास एम्यूनिटीज फॉर दिस पर्पज वी हैव फर्दर लिबरलाइज द एफ डी आई पॉलिसी इन कंस्ट्रक्शन सेक्टर आई अनाउंस दैट a modern road system rail system including high speed rails will be set up immediately we opened up railways for 100% foreign direct investment i announced that defense production in the country would be encouraged the next step was to open the defense sector for foreign direct investment up to 49% we have taken similar steps in many other areas these include bringing 
49% FDI in insurance. It also includes liberalization of FDI norms for manufacturing of medical devices. Simultaneously, on the administrative front, we are actively working to provide policy-driven governance. और मैं इस बात का बहुत आग्रही रहा हूं कि राज्य हो सरकार हो वो पॉलिसी ड्रिवन होनी चाहिए इंडिविजुअल के बीन्स पर नहीं चलनी चाहिए और हमने केंद्र सरकार को भी उस दिशा में बहुत आग्रह पूर्वक बढ़ाने की दिशा में सफलता से कदम उठाए हैं we have taken far reaching decision to ensure supply of key natural resources this includes coal iron ore and other minerals we also amended legal provisions to facilitate availability of land this has been done to enable development in remote areas while ensuring better returning to the farming community we are trying to complete the circle of economic reforms speedily we are also keen to see that our policies are predictable we are clear that our tax rhythm should be stable in the last few months we have taken several decisions in this direction we have put focus on building infrastructure through public and private investments this will include national roads national grids for gas electricity and water grid it also includes rural infrastructure 24 by 7 electric supply farm irrigation and cleaning up and connecting of rivers in order to execute the infrastructure plan a fast track ppp mechanism is being put in place we are undertaking the sagar mala project to ensure port led development existing ports are being modernized new world class ports will be developed along india's coastal circle ports will be better connected to the hinterland through road and rail inland and coastal waterways will be developed and major transport routes low cost airports are being planned to improve regional connectivity especially to tie two towns and places of economic and tourist importance we are also keen to move towards the next generation infrastructure just as we need highways we need highways too when i say highways information ways under the digital india initiative it will be used to drive government process to improve service delivery and program implementation and also to provide broadband connectivity to the villages to upgrade manufacturing infrastructure we are setting up a world class investment and industrial regions along the dedicated freight corridor and industrial corridors government of india is working towards single window clearance at the federal and state levels four months back we launched make in india initiative to encourage the growth of manufacturing in the country we are working hard to make 
इंडिया अ ग्लोबल मैन्युफैक्चरिंग हब वी आर प्रमोटिंग इन पर्टिकुलर लेबर इंटेंसिव मैन्युफैक्चरिंग क्योंकि मेरे देश में बहुत बड़ी मात्रा में युवा है और रोजगार हमारी प्राथमिकता है और इसलिए हम लेबर इंटेंसिव प्रोजेक्ट्स को अधिक से अधिक बल देना चाहते हैं आई हैव लॉन्च दिस इनिशिएटिव इन ए कैंपेन बोर्ड सो दैट दे फोर्स अस इन द गवर्नमेंट टू मेक फास्टर करेक्शन कभी कभी लोगों को लगता है कि मोदी हर चीज को इस हाइप पर क्यों ले जाते हैं लेकिन ये हाइप सरकार को भी दौड़ने के लिए मजबूर करती है अपने आप को ठीक करने के लिए मजबूर करती है ये मोमेंटम अपने आप में खुद को भी परिवर्तन लाने के लिए प्रेरित करता है द चैलेंज इज अस टू डू अवे विद द रेड टैप एंड बिकम प्रो एक्टिव विद दिस पर्पज Our applications and processes are being aggressively put online. Ease of doing business in India is a prime concern for you and us. And I remember the World Bank chairman. Last time when he came to India, he gave a press statement. He said that. कि ईज ऑफ डूइंग बिजनेस में अगर हिंदुस्तान आगे बढ़ता है तो आज उसका नंबर 150 के भी पीछे हैं वो देखते ही देखते हैं, पहले 50 में आ जाएगा वर्ल्ड बैंक चेयरमैन ने जो प्रिडिक किया था मैं विश्वास से कहता हूं कि हमने ईज ऑफ बिजनेस का ईज ऑफ बिजनेस का जो इनिशिएटिव लिया है एक के बाद एक जो कदम उठा रहे हैं हम उस गोल को भी अचीव करने में शायद देर नहीं लगेगी I assure you that we are working very seriously on these issues. We want to make them not only easier than earlier, not only easier than the rest, but we want to make them easiest. Friends, many of you might be interested to know why India. आखिरकार क्यों लोग यहां पूंजी लगाएंगे और यही सवाल का जवाब उनको भारत में निवेश करने के लिए भारत में अपना नसीब अजमाने के लिए एक प्रेरणा भी देता है ताकत भी देता है और एक नया विश्वास भी देता है वाई इंडिया इंडिया इज द थ्री थिंग्स इट्स क्रेडिट डेमोक्रेसी demography and demand this is what you are looking for and i'm sure you will not find all of them together at any other destination in the world india offers you the potential of low cost manufacturing india has low cost and high quality manpower 65 percent of our population is below 35 years of age. We are trying to further harness this trends through better management and good governance and skill development mission. In the recently launched mass arbitral mission, everything was made indigenously. In fact, most mission components were made in very small factories. और हमने जो मंगलायन में सफलता प्राप्त की है, उसका जो खर्चा हुआ है, हॉलीवुड की मूवी से भी कम खर्चे में हम मंगल पर पहुंचे हैं। और पहले प्रयास में पहुंचे हैं। इतना ही नहीं। अहमदाबाद में ऑटो रिक्शा में अगर आप जाएं और एक किलोमीटर जाना है तो कम से कम दस रुपया किराया लगता होगा हम 
मंगलायन मंगल तक पहुंचे हैं सिर्फ सात रुपये किलोमीटर के खर्चे से फ्रेंड्स वी हैव लार्ज नंबर ऑफ हैंड्स टू वर्क एंड वी हैव इवन लार्ज नंबर ऑफ ड्रीम्स टू बी रियलाइज दर फॉर एम्प्लॉयमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटीज आर बींग एनहैंस बाय प्रमोटिंग मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एग्रोबेज इंडस्ट्रीज टूरिज्म एज वेल एज सर्विस सेक्टर वी हैव अंडरटेकन लेबर रिफॉर्म्स टू एनकरेज एंटरप्राइज एंड टू क्रिएट ए बिगर जॉब मार्केट फॉर अवर यूथ आई हैव ऑलवेज सेड दैट डेवलपमेंट प्रोसेस should benefit the common man as well as the business sector therefore my government has established a new ministry for skill development to enhance our human resource potential for this we are placing equal emphasis on knowledge technology innovation and research and development this includes the use of ict for improving governance and resource management i understand because i use modern tools of communication myself and pe people are very familiar with my social media activity <laughs> friends today india is a land of opportunities we have to build fast track roads and railways we have to energize homes and factories on a continuous basis we have to build infrastructure for cities where our almost half of our population live we have to take the test of modern amenities to our rural area to our every villages we have to propel our growth through value addition in our natural resources and agri producers we have to provide service to our people which are global standards at the same time the whole world is looking for certain services if our human resources can be equipped with skills and technology we may serve the world in many areas thus there are immense possibilities for global investors in india the process of development we are talking up is not incremental we are planning to take a quantum leap it is not limited to one sector or region it is truly unlimited and we want to do things in a cleaner and greener way we are open to ideas investments and innovations friends we have made commitments to our people open to ideas investments and innovations friends we have made commitments to our people we have made commitments to ourselves we have made commitments for india's great future we have to write our new destiny and we have to write in the very short time we know that to do this we need an enabling policy framework we are working constantly to improve it further however i can say with confidence that even today the strength of indian democracy and independence of judicial system provide a level playing field for long lasting business i would conclude by saying that we are dreaming big and our dreams are numerous our dreams can become the seeds of your your growth our aspirations can propel your ambitions friends on behalf of the government 
let me give an assurance. We assure you that we will be available to hold your hands whenever you need us. You will find us standing with you in your journey. If you walk one step, we will walk two steps for you. At the end, urge you to see and realize for yourself that India is changing fast. India is growing fast. India is moving faster than expected. India is learning even faster. India is ready than ever before. Let us join hands. Let us work together for progress, prosperity and peace. मुझे विश्वास है कि गुजरात का ये प्रयास मैं गुजरात सरकार को आदरणीय मुख्यमंत्री जी को बधाई देता हूं कि अब तक जितने वायब्रेंट समीट हुए हैं उससे ज्यादा ताकतवर ज्यादा ऊंचाई वाला और न सिर्फ गुजरात को पूरे देश को एक नया विश्वास जगाने वाला महात्मा मंदिर की धरती पर हुआ ये समागम देश की युवा पीढ़ी को नया विश्वास देगा देश को उन विकास की नई ऊंचाइयों पर पहुंचने के लिए एक रास्ता दिखाएगा और इस बात के लिए मैं गुजरात की जनता का गुजरात सरकार का हृदय से अभिनंदन करता हूं और आप सब भारत के विकास में शरीक होने के लिए यहां पधारे हैं दुनिया के सौ देशों से अधिक देशों के लोग पधारे हैं मैं उन सबका स्वागत करते हुए आपको विश्वास दिलाता हूं आओ हम साथ चले बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद थैंक यू वेरी मच धन्यवाद मान्यवर प्रधानमंत्री महोदय आपका थैंक यू ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर सर फॉर दैट वेरी इंस्पायरिंग एड्रेस विच दिस ऑगस्ट गैदरिंग विल रिमेंबर फॉर मेनी मोर इयर्स टू कम प्रधानमंत्री को आप सुन रहे थे गांधीनगर में प्रधानमंत्री वाइब्रेंट गुजरात 2015 समिट को एड्रेस कर रहे थे संबोधित कर रहे थे उन्होंने बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण बातें कही और अब अपने संबोधन के बाद वहां मौजूद डिग्नेटरी से मिल रहे हैं बांकी मून से हाथ मिलाया उन्होंने साथ ही वो मौजूद जो फॉरेन डिग्नेटरीज है मंच पे उनसे हाथ मिलाते हुए प्रधानमंत्री सीधी तस्वीर आपको गांधीनगर की हम दिखा रहे हैं अभी कुछ ही देर पहले आपने प्रधानमंत्री का संबोधन सुना उन्होंने पहले वहां मौजूद तमाम जो स्टेट्समैन है इंडस्ट्रियलिस्ट है उद्योगपति है बड़े बड़े देश और विदेश के उनको धन्यवाद दिया शिरकत करने के लिए पीएम ने निवेशकों को भारत आने का न्योता दिया भारत में डेमोक्रेसी डेमोग्राफी और डिमांड इसका इसके बारे में जिक्र किया और थ्री की वजह से ही भारत में निवेश करे ऐसा प्रधानमंत्री ने कहा कई अहम बातों का जिक्र किया प्रधानमंत्री ने अपने संबोधन में उन्होंने कहा कि निवेश को बढ़ाने के लिए जो भी मदद भारत सरकार की तरफ से हो पाएगी वो बढ़ चढ़ के भारत सरकार करेगी नीति आयोग का भी उन्होंने जिक्र किया उन्होंने कहा कि नीति आयोग राज्यों और राष्ट्र के बीच में जो समन्वय है उसको बढ़ाने के लिए निवेश को बढ़ाने के लिए आगे के काम करेगा उन्होंने कहा कि उन्होंने तमाम तरह के समिट्स में हिस्सा लिया है अपने प्रधानमंत्री के पद पर आसीन होने के बाद और हर जगह एक ही चिंता है कि कैसे परस्पर विकास किया जाए ने कहा कि तमाम वो लोग जो पहली बार इस सम्मेलन में शिरकत करके इसे खास बना रहे हैं उनका वो हार्दिक धन्यवाद देते हैं इस समय जो तस्वीरें आप देख रहे हैं जॉनकरी नजर आ रहे हैं तस्वीरों में यूएस सेक्रेटरी ऑफ स्टेट इस बार यूएस भी एक पार्टनर बना है इस समिट को आगे बढ़ाने के लिए आठ देश साझेदार बने हैं वाइब्रेंट गुजरात दो समिट में और उसमें यूएस और यूके भी शामिल है यहां रुक रहे हैं छोटे से ब्रेक के लिए फॉरन लौटते हैं